Hi, I'm Randall Heyman, a mathematics academic. I'm using my YouTube channel to make videos that I can turn around quickly during the coronavirus outbreak. I hope that'll help people whose learning is impacted by the outbreak. So if you'd like me to make a video for you or your students, use the comment section below the video and I'll try and help. Um, okay, so firstly, I need to get rid of this. I was tutoring online today at the university and we were doing linear maps for those that have done that or remember that. Okay, now firstly, I've, I've, um, I've made this up here a little bit bigger. Someone was complaining about the font. I can't really do much about that, I'm afraid. Um, so we're stuck with that. Okay, so I want to talk about Euler's theorem. I've actually had quite a lot of uh, interest in this, uh, as reflected by the views and the and the emails, and the uh, yeah, and the emails. So um, I think I'll just go through this um, in some detail over quite a number of videos. Um, Okay, so all I want to do in this first uh, video, or in this video, is just make sure we understand the problem, what this theorem actually says, and we're not going to worry about proving it in this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is one. Um, is prime two. It says if A is prime two, now, one of mathematics' dirty secrets is that we use different, a lot of different terms often for the same thing. Um, one of the ones that really is annoying uh, for a lot of people is uh, we spend all the time at school saying to people that this is log, this is to the base 10 and this is log to the base E. When we do number theory research, um, we always do log, almost always do log to the base E, but we, we just say log for log to the base C. So that's, um, that's a little trap for number research beginners or number theory beginners. Okay, now is prime two, what does that mean? Means, uh, so A is prime to me, in prime means co-prime or has a GCD of one with respect, I suppose, with respect to, in this case, M, with respect. Um, so what am I saying like that? So A is prime to M. That's the same thing as A is co-prime. 2m, and that's the same, they're all the same, is the same as the GCD of A and M is equal to 1. So I think that's all I want to say about is prime 2. Now the next thing is 2, is this. This is the Greek letter here, the Greek letter phi, um, phi of m. So phi of m is equal to, the, firstly, if we start with the set, say, uh, J, such that one is less than J is less than M, and the GCD of J and M equals one. That's the set, and then we see which means the cardinality of the set. In other words, the number of elements of the set. Example, phi of six, so how many, what numbers between one and six inclusive have a GCD with six of one? Well, one does, the GCD of one and six is one, two doesn't, three doesn't, four doesn't, five does. So we've got, there's only two elements in the set. So five of six equals two. Um, I will point you if you don't under if you're not comfortable with phi. There's a lot of phi in this stuff. So if you're not comfortable with um, the Euler Tation function, uh, I've got a quite a popular video Euler Tation 
function. I think actually, if you just put that into YouTube, mine will come up first, but if not, made it easy, or you can always just find it on the channel. I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link. Okay, uh, right, so that's good. And then I just wanna make mention of this three. Uh, at the end of that line, there is a to the power of the Euler quotient function of M is equivalent to one mod M. Now, if you don't, if, if either of these two things, the equivalent or the mod, if this <clears throat> is confusing for you, well then um, I doubt you'll want to stick with all of this because this is pretty heavy duty modular arithmetic. But uh, if you do modular, I've got a video on this as well, modular arithmetic made easy. So you could go and have a look, work through that um, and um, get comfortable with that. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say on this video. Um, so um, in the next video, I think I just want to explore why you wouldn't want to read the proof. So talk to you then. Any comments on anything I do or anything about mathematics, please comment below or drop me an email.